fair bit happened at Sandown on the weekend, so I uh, thought we'd dive into that a little bit. The first thing we should talk about is crankshafts on engines. So there's a lot going on with both Ford and GM. We actually broke a crank on Macaulay's car at our test day, pulled the engine out, put it in a truck, Jack drove it to Queensland. Uh, they pulled that engine apart. We had another one they rebuilt overnight, came back, put in the car to get us through the weekend. But let me explain a little bit what's going on with crankshafts. So what used to happen was the, the crankshafts were made out of, you know, Timken billet, and they would machine them up and give us that crankshaft, cost around, you know, $9,000, um, and uh, it lasts 60,000 Ks. What we run now is a forged crankshaft made of 4340 steel, so um, it's not nearly as robust and strong, but it's, it's cheaper, it's about four grand cheaper. Um, the old crankshaft would do 60,000 Ks. The new one, well, you know, it's done a season and a half. I don't know exactly what the kilometers are for a year, but it'll be somewhere between eight and 10,000 Ks, probably closer to eight. So a bit of work to be done there. Uh, the thrust bearings are still a problem for us. So we've pulled the engine out of Bryce's car before Bathurst, sent it back to Queensland. Um, Kenny will put a, a new thrust bearing in it. We're a bit worried about whether it might have blown a head gasket as well at Sandown, so we're getting that checked, and then we'll get it back. The, Harry and, the, and Thomas will put it back in this car, and then we'll, uh, we'll shoot off to Bathurst. Um, accident damage, that's the steering arm off Macaulay and Jordan's car when they got fenced. Um, and as you can see, all the front bumpers are off the cars, they're all getting repaired. So a fair bit going on here at BJR, even though it's very quiet in the background because everyone stopped to watch the old master at work and uh, I'll talk to you in a week.